democratic rights attacked, 100 arrests at Seekweb Depot. More than 100 people were arrested outside New Farm Seekweb Depot in 1985. There was a large squad of police who moved in to arrest picketers, breaking an un unjust law under the Electricity Continuity of Supply Act. The dispute was about contract labour and the government's attempt to break the electrical trades union. There was tremendous solidarity from other workers and their organisations. Among those charged at the picket on this day were a group of Brisbane priests. There was a solidarity protest by a group of concerned Christians who had participated in street marches in 1977 and 78. There were also a number of clergy. Father Dick Pascoe from Church of Christ the King at Graceful carried a cross while concerned Christians sang protest songs like Keep on Walking as arrests were taking place. It was a cool morning outside the Sequeb New Farm Depot and the media arrived just after dawn. Scab Sequeb workers rostered on at 7 o'clock and a half an hour beforehand, linesmen, cable jointers, supporters from the Siemens Union and other unions gather as the industrial skyline is broken by a cross leading a pilgrimage for democratic rights. But today there's no altar. Instead, picketers lead this congregation as scabs begin to show up for work. The front gate is as far as the scabs get. A police inspector dutifully reads out the government proclamation saying that workers will be arrested under the Electricity Continuity of Supply Act. Civil Liberties lawyer Stephen Kime says to one policeman, I'm a solicitor acting for the group of people here in the vicinity of the cross here. I'm instructed by them that they intend to stand there as an identifiable group of people in the vicinity of that cross. They intend neither to block pedestrian or vehicular traffic and I'm instructed that their presence is not directed at any of the employees inside the Seekweb depot. After one of the concerned Christians had been arrested. You, you can't tell me what part of section 5 that he's arrested under, for. Under the harassing section, sir. The harassment yes. section, that's section 513. Can you say what it is that uh, my client's done that amounts to the harassing, sir? Are they considered to be breaking the law now, or are they acting in a peaceful manner? Policeman. Uh, the law states that if you join in with a mob that is harassing the uh, SEQEB workers, you're breaking the law. And so they're joined with the... Uh, with the group here, so they're breaking the law. A concerned Christman, the Christian then says, The sinful nature of us all will uh, 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 lead towards that sort of thing. Uh, people get involved and uh, emotions run. But that doesn't alter the basic premise that what this is all about. That Queensland is a sad state at this time. Queensland is democracy is, is being attacked. Policeman. I am directing that this group of persons disperse and that, that each member of that group leave this location, otherwise you will be arrested. Concerned Christian records on his tape player then. Now, Bank Coast Constable Gordon is not able to tell me the particulars of my arrest. You, 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 you can't tell me what part of section 5 that he's arrested under, for? Under the harassing section, sir. The harassment yes. section, that's section 513. Can you say what it is that uh, my client's done that amounts to the harassing, sir? 
I mean, this, this goes to your credibility. Oh, I'm sure it does, sir. I'm sure it does. I'm if, sure I'll find about it, out about it in court, sir. Well, that's, 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 sure that's exactly that, what my clients well, are afraid of, we'll sir, that you'll be working out what he we'll did wait, afterwards. We'll wait about it. We'll work it out. So you're, you're not able to tell you'll, me at all? You'll certainly work it out in court, sir. You're not able to that's tell me? job, sir. Surely you're not. Yes, a person who's arrested is also entitled to particulars. He is. He's got all the particulars he's entitled to, sir. Policeman, we'll work it out. And we have a, an overwhelming number of arrests to process. Eventually the ranks thin out at the Sequip depot. But 200 metres down the road, there's a second event. This time, police are now faced with a dilemma, whether to act under Section 5 of the Continuity of Supply Act or under breaches of the Traffic Act. They opt for yet another warning under Section 5. But either way... The desired effect is the same. They use the Traffic Act or the Continuity of Supply Act to take away people's democratic rights and scores more arrests occur. This song is about, this song is sort of about Labor Day this year. A song which is uh, critical of the situation that trade unionism is in at the moment. Everybody's one big happy family On Labor Day On Labor Day Unity is strength and you gotta look unified Even if it's playing the boss's game And the truth is crucified Everybody They would follow you If there was any doubt This electric light was found it out Shine so bright it Brings back memories of the darkest night Our common enemy Our common enemy Is the common doubt This whole precinct is now part of Salubrious New Farm with its coffee shops, apartment buildings, river frontages and lovely botanic style gardens. Um, who would have thought that this was once an industrial skyline where workers fought for their, for their rights. So there you have it, the changes that society brings about and we look here at the apartments that people live in right next door to the old SEQEB depot.
now owned by Energex. I am inside the Sequeb depot. It's 2022 and I'm remembering back to 1985 when the Sequeb dispute led to a picket of sacked workers in this very location. They were outside where the fence would have been over there and inside were the scabs. Police cordoned off the area and anyone attempting to prevent the scabs from entering these buildings uh, was arrested. People got here before dawn. One person even put boulders across the road in order to stop the scabs and the police contingent from entering this part of what was then SEQEB property. It's now in the hands of Energex, which is a state-owned um, corporation. And this is the substation that we're looking at here now at 85 Lamington Street, New Farm. And behind me is the old New Farm powerhouse, now an arts precinct. And there, these buildings here, I think form part of the SEQEB depot back in the day. So there you have it, 35, 37 years on from the famous Sequeb dispute in which 1,002 workers were sacked, many never to return to the industry and many never to get a permanent job ever again. Here we go, um, we'll leave it for now and just try to think about what that meant, the introduction of contract labour and the rights that were taken away, particularly those rights fought for by unions over a long period of time. Victory to the ETU. This is Ian Kerr signing off from 4PR Voice of the People.